The student organizers I spoke to say back in the fall, they spent three weeks planning a climate strike that attracted about 2,000 people. Now they've worked alongside organizations over the last three months to plan this climate strike, and they're anticipating a big crowd. And we have leads at almost every Portland high school who are working to mobilize their peers. My name is Ada Crandall. I'm a sophomore at Grant High School, and I am one of the co-leads of the upcoming climate strike. I'm Jacob. I go, I'm a junior at Ida B. Wells High School, and I'm also a co-lead for the upcoming strike. Ada Crandall and Jacob Glass are a couple of the many young people who have been working hard on planning the Portland climate strike happening on Friday. Young people all around the world have been organizing climate strikes for the last several years, but this time we are trying to extend that to all generations, so specifically calling on adults to join us in this strike. Students and other participants plan to meet up at Portland City Hall at 11 a.m., march at noon, and then arrive at Revolution Hall in southeast Portland by 2 p.m. to participate in the Portland Climate Festival. Portland Public Schools sent a note to families asking parents to talk to their kids about the strike, communicate with teachers, give permission for excused absences, and make a plan to keep their kids safe if they do walk out. And I think it's really time for us to unite and really come together as an entire city, um, as an entire global community to push against the climate crisis. We've identified four climate villains in Portland, which are the Portland Business Alliance, Zenith, Northwest Natural, and the Oregon Department of Transportation. They say the actions of each contribute to climate change in some way. And the goal is to put a lot of pressure that demands progress. And they want adults to join them. Calling youth organizers inspiring and heroic is not enough. Young people are powerful, but we cannot win this fight on our own, and we need you there with us. And this probably won't be the last time you hear from them because they're planning more events and protests throughout the spring and summer. Christine Padawanich, KGW News.